Time for coffee. Everyone. Welcome to So Lovely with Grace. I'm Grace and welcome to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video to show you about a trip to Joann's and it's a different Joann's than my normal one. It's in Lady Lake, Florida and I've never been there. It's at a Joann's near the Villages, a retirement community that's really popular in Florida and in the country and it was an exciting day. Thank you, Tom, for the coffee. He makes me coffee every morning. So I've been on vacation for the past week. I came back and I'm trying to get into my sojo again. And then, of course, the simplicity sale hits us and I got to go there. I got to go there. But I'm getting kind of tired of my local Joann's. So we went on a little road trip. So before I get into the trip to Joann's and the little adventure we had, I want to talk to you about vacation and Mother's Day and how things went. Stephanie sent me this magnetic bracelet to put pins in. So you could put your pins here and it says here, I guess the company that makes it, it's called Sew Your Way. It's like a rubber bracelet, very comfortable. And I've been using this and it's wonderful. It's so nice to have pins on your wrist while you sew, while you're cutting and marking and doing everything. Just having pins. There's one thing to have it as a necklace. That's fine too, but I like it on my wrist. And she also sent me the gift card. I use it Joann's. Thank you, Stephanie. And Mike, Laura, and Colin came to visit. They stayed for about five days. We had a wonderful time here at the house and we went on many excursions. We went on a boat ride with like, I don't know, it was like eight people and over Crystal River, beautiful. We went to the local beach, the white sandy beach here. We stayed in the pool, cooked outside, went to restaurants. We had a great time. So that's what I did and now I'm back and I'm happy to be here. And in this clip, I'm gonna show you that we went to Joann's over the Memorial Day weekend at the Joann's in Lady Lake and we had a little adventure in the parking lot. There was a woman there who was waving at us saying, help, help, I have a little gecko in my car. These little geckos, these little lizards, they're harmless. They're very common here in Florida. They're really cute, but she was kind of freaking out. So Tom had to go in there and see what was going on. So I'm gonna show you the clip of Joann's and then I'll be back with a bag of patterns and a bag of fabrics to show you what I got. It's Sunday morning, Memorial Day weekend, and Tommy took me to Joann's in Lady Lake, Florida. Never been to this one. So far, I'm having a good impression of it. It has this beautiful fountain outside. Of course, it pertains to the whole shopping area, but it's just a nice... Let's see, I need to get a little closer here. It's pretty cool. Look at that. Fountain outside of Joann's. Pretty. Let's go inside. And this lady has a gecko in her car and Tom's trying to get it out of here. This is so fun. He's under the driver's seat. He's under the driver's seat. So much fun. Oh no. Adventures at Joann's. We'll get him out of the car. Tom to the rescue. He's just in the so Maybe if I take out this so he can't hide At least you that. saw him. Oh. And discombobulate the whole car. I don't see him anymore. Do you see him? So I'm inside the Lady Lake Joann's. Simplicity are definitely $1.99. I got my list here, got my pattern list. I'm gonna go through the drawers. Hopefully they have what I want. And I'll 
I'll show you guys what I end up with. So far, I got everything I want on my list, but I'm going to keep looking. What I like about this Joann's is every Simplicity drawer is chock full of patterns. I mean, all the drawers. But I don't see the new release of the summer patterns here. But they have a good selection, and I'm going to just keep digging through. So, so now I'm looking at the clearance fabric here. Let's see what they got. Oh, this is fabric that I have. I already have this one at home. And uh, I did a tutorial on a quick sew pattern with this fabric. That's funny. So I'm going to go through, dig through these, and see what I come up with. Hopefully get, bring something home today. Well, I want to say it was really fun shopping in that Joann's. It was clean, organized, very nice. Unfortunately, they did not have the brand new summer release patterns. I didn't see any of them, at least the ones I wanted. There was one with a tie, an open back with a bow tie. Um, there was another one with like a crop top I liked and a few others, but they didn't have any, so I didn't even keep looking for those. But I want to give a shout out to Peggy at the cutting counter. She was very helpful with all the fabric I bought. And we had a nice little chat. And she was so friendly. It was a busy day, but everyone had time to talk. That's why I like living here in Florida. They're so friendly. They always have time to chat. And no one's in a rush. And no one's grumpy. And it's always a good time to be in Joann's. And Tom, he went over to Best Buy and bought some gadgets. He went over to Bell's and bought some new shorts that he desperately needed. So we both got to go our own ways, shop, and have a great time, and then join for lunch. And I'll show you a picture of that later. But I have, oh, and if you want to know what I'm wearing, this top I featured in my Embrace the Lace top series that I'm doing, the collaboration series that I'm doing monthly. And that's my previous video. If you want to see this top, it is this pattern. It's a Simplicity 9605 UB with a ruffle, and I enhanced it with lace. And I made these earrings and the choker with this lace that I bought on Amazon. That's another video, but I just thought I'd sh let you know about that if someone hasn't seen that video yet. But anyways, I came back from Joann's with a bag of patterns and a bag of fabric. So to me, it was a great time, a great day. And I really like that, Joann's. By the way, the girl with the little gecko, she called her husband, he came, and then they were on their own. So I don't know what happened there, but I just thought it was so funny. I mean, I don't, I like those guys. They're cute little creatures, but I don't like them jumping all over me or being in the house. So I can understand her driving in the car with that thing in there. So anyways, that was interesting. So let me show you this fabric I got that is so beautiful. Look at this yellow chiffon with these flowers. It's so pretty. I mean, I love florals. I'm moving into abstract designs now too, but I can't get away from my florals and I love yellow. I really want more yellow in my uh, wardrobe. And what I was pairing it up with, I didn't get this pattern at this trip. This was gifted to me by Osset from Stitch Treasures. She gifted me this pattern. It's Simplicity 1589. It's a learn to sew. It's a peekaboo back. Look at this back. Isn't that cute? In the front, simple tank. Very nice for summer. This is a learn to sew. This will be come together very quickly, which I like. And it's view A is the one I want to make. So there's a long line drawings there. And uh, yeah, definitely. That's a pairing that I think I'm going to do with this fabric. And let's see, what other pattern did I get? I got lots here. These are the ones I bought at Joann's for $1.99 in this round. This is interesting, 9749. I've had my eye on this for a while. It looks kind of complicated with the ruching in the back, but I want to give it a shot. I thought it was cute, and um, it's very interesting. I like this little triangle cut out here and the little peplum. That's something I would definitely wear. And uh, it's rated an average, and I can see why. There's a lot involved here. So I did pick this one up. I don't have a fabric for that one yet. And I also had my eye on some Gertie fabrics. I've never purchased one of her fabrics. Um, does anybody use uh, 
sewn girdie patterns. This is an interesting one that I thought was adorable. This 9290, this two piece set. I really like this top and the shorts. This is definitely something I would make this summer. Um, there's the line drawings for that. And I just thought it was cute. Patterns by Gertie. This is absolutely my first Gertie pattern. And I said, hey, for $1.99, I'll try her out. And then I kept looking at her patterns and I found more. Let me show you what else I got. I found, since I do embrace the lace, I'm getting more into lace. This is more of a lingerie. I bought a Madeline pattern. Let's see, this is Simplicity by Madeline here. This one I got at the last go around and I did that on my first Embrace the Lace. And I like Madeline, I like her instructions, they're really easy. But I picked up this Gertie pattern. Look at her there, isn't that beautiful with the little slit there and the lace and this two piece here. How cute is that? This is 9285, there's the line drawings there. And I just thought, I'm gonna pick this one up. Now it's different than the Madeline. The Madeline had charmeuse and it was a woven. This is a knit pattern. And I'm glad I got it. I don't have anything for this one yet. But this one, oh look at this. This is very unique. Simplicity 9287. She has a bow here. I'm not sure if I would do the bow one. I like this one. The Sweetheart Neckline, but I love the tulip sleeves on this. They're tulip sleeves. I looked in the instructions and you can't quite see it. You can't even see the sleeves on the line drawing, give it any justice. But when I open the instructions, the tulip sleeves are very evident in this picture here in view A. Look at these. I've never made tulip sleeves. I like the buttons in the front. Maybe, maybe not the bow. Not sure. I might not go with that. I can make the whole thing with the caps, tulip sleeves. Um, but I really like this pattern. And guess what? Look at her fabric on the cover. Look at this pretty rose fabric. Now I was going to show you the rose fabric next. This, I got Joanne's on clearance. This was a clearance. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I love it. It's perfect for that pattern. I'm really interested in seeing how this Gertie pattern comes out because she's been around for a while and I've never tried her pattern so hopefully it's a, easy to follow and a good result. Let's see the next pattern I got that was it for the Gertie patterns. I got three of hers. I got this vintage pattern the Simplicity 9699. I'm not into the dress so much as this one top with the keyhole opening and little button closure at the neckline. This one, 9699, I saw this pattern on Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. She showed it on one of her hauls and when I saw it I said, oh, I gotta get it. It's an average also, but it's only, let's see, the top view B, it only takes a yard of fabric. I don't have a uh, fabric for this one yet, but it's a vintage, what year is this one? 1950s. And that's why I got it for the one top. I think it'll be nice. So probably do a, uh, a silky, a silky top with this. It calls for uh, cotton types, silk, rayon, and linen. So good variety. Got to have that one. What else did I get? This one I thought was great because there's six views in this and I need to catch up on my dresses. And it's a knit and look at all those views. This one's really good. It's Simplicity 1358. Um, it's a quick and easy. It looks like it take no time at all. I really like this one, this knit with the high low. That's the one I was gonna do if I find a fabric there but all the views are pretty straightforward. I think it's a good one to have in your collection for two dollars. I had to get it. What else did I get? Oh, I'll save that one for last. And this Simplicity $11.95. I got this one because I'm doing an Embrace the Lace series 
and I'm trying to pick up more patterns with lace. I'm more specifically interested in the model, this black dress. I'm thinking New Year's Eve um, and then maybe a little bolero jacket for that. But it's very pretty. Um, of course, crepe, crepe, black satin, sateen, silky types, taffeta. Of course, it's a uh, dressy. And I had to pick this one up. This one's a so stylish. And it was featured in Threads magazine. And there's the line drawings for that. I just thought, hey, you know, I would never get it as a regular price, so why not get it for $1.99? One of my choices. And this pattern, Simplicity 1113, I've been looking for this one forever. I've, every time I go into a Joann's, I've been looking for this one. And the view I like is C. This one with the lace uh, sleeves and the lace trim at the bottom. I also like the one the model's wearing. And this one is a real quickie. I'm sure this won't take no time at all. It's like a yard and three quarters of fabric, jersey, ITY knits, stretch knits. I've been looking for this one. And when I saw it, they had a whole stack of them. I was surprised. And now, my final pattern, and it's not a simplicity, it's a new look. Because like I said, every time I walk into Joann's, I got to get a new look pattern. And I got this one. You might look at it and go, what's the big deal? But I'm in love with this cutout dress. This, uh, the red one, View B, right there. It has the cutout sides and the back is not open. It has cutouts on the sides only, but I just thought it was beautiful. And you have these buttons here and I got the perfect fabric for it. And let me show you that. So now, those are all the patterns I got. And I got a bag of fabric. And for that dress, I saw this beautiful abstract, orange, pink, and white sateen. It has a tiny stretch. Isn't that beautiful? This is what I want to make the dress out of. I'm so excited about that. And the lining. I got the white lining. I had to have white. That's what I wanted. And it come, calls for an invisible zipper. Of course, you got to have one of those. And then the two front buttons, I got these pink little flowers. I absolutely love them. So I'm excited about that pattern. I think this is going to be my next make. Um, and hopefully I'll show it to you soon. But that's right on my list. So I got to start cutting right away. And I got more fabric because it was a big sale. Now that was not a clearance, that was a 50% off. It was regular $16.99, I got it for $8.99, so I'm really happy with it. And, uh, but this one was a clearance. And now this is for winter, because I wanna make a coat with this. Look at this chevron olive and black. It's very, very heavy. It almost looks like wool. And I've been eyeing uh, a pattern that I wanna make with this fabric. Let me show you. I had this 9685 in the fall. I want to make this coat. Um, not the one the model's wearing. It's a little too long. I think the one, well, maybe the jacket. The bottom one, C. Depends if I have enough fabric or the one the model's wearing. I haven't decided between the jacket and the one that the model's wearing. But I bought this a few uh, weeks ago. And uh, I said, hey. I haven't found the fabric for it, but I did now, and it was not expensive. This was only, I think, $5.95 a yard. It was in the clearance area. It has a nice little stretch to it. It's very heavy, perfect for winter. I just need to get lining for it. So that's exciting. And what else did I get? Oh, I got more licensed fabric for the Florida Gators. This, um, my... Uh, brother-in-law, I'll show you a picture, I'll insert a picture, but he had a shirt that I made for him with the Florida Gators using this pattern. This one I've had, this is a new look, 6197 men's shirt, right there, 6197. I also have a video on this, and uh, I picked up more fabric because this was a clearance, this was $7.99 a yard. I don't even know, I got it off the bolt, and I just said, give me what you got. And, uh, 
I'll be making that for him. That's, he's going to be excited about that if he watches this video. And the last fabric I got is this vintage. Vintage, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Simplicity 1970s girls fabric. Now, I've used this fabric in the past. I made a bag with it. I'll show it to you right here. If I have it, yes. This is uh, one of my bags I made using that fabric in the past. And I added some cork and a decorative zipper. And uh, I also made it a little, um, little baggy to go with it to match. I just love this fabric. I just bought it. I don't know what I'm going to make with it now because I've already made a bag with it. But it was in the clearance, and I was at the checkout counter, or the cutting counter, and Peggy was there. And she's like, what are you going to make with it? And I showed her the bag I already made, and she was so impressed. She was so like, wow, that's pretty cool. And so that's why I picked it up. So all my fabric was clearance, except the, um, the one that I'm going to make the dress out of. That was a 50% off. This one here, my absolute favorite. I'm just so in love with this fabric. Like I said, I like florals, but I'm getting into these abstracts. What do you think about the abstract patterns? Aren't they beautiful? So, I hope you enjoyed this haul. The pattern haul, the fabric haul, and my week of what I've been doing. Now, I'm going to insert at the end here my status of my garden. I have a lot of updates for you. But I transported everything that was in the garage under the grow lights into the outside garden beds. And they're growing very well. I got zucchini. I already cooked with zucchini. I have cucumbers that I've been eating. And I have some pickles that I want to jar. So I'm going to show you some of that at the end. Today, my peppers are going outside in the pepper bed. So in my seed starter tray, I started with 72 uh, seeds. I don't know how many made it here, but I'm going to plant as many as I can. Here's my pepper bed. I ended up planting 45, and hopefully they'll take root. I watered them, and they're going to be a little stressed for a couple days, but they should come back quickly. My pickling plant is climbing the trellis, and there, there's one of my first pickles. Wow. These are my cucumber pickle plants, and look at this big one. Wow, and one little one next to it. I guess I gotta pick this one now. It's so big. Let's give it a little twist. And pull. Look at that. Gigantic. My tomato plants are really tall, but no flowers yet. My zucchini plants are all green. They look very, very healthy. And I spotted one zucchini here. Let's see if I can get in there. Wow, there she is. All right, I'm going to cut into this. Hmm. Ooh, that looks delicious. Oh, hang on. Wow, beautiful. I'm going to make salad today. Hey guys, look at that, our first cucumber pickle. This is my beefsteak tomato bed. And look, little tomatoes. Got some flowers. Everything's looking green. Looks like we should get a lot of tomatoes this year, hopefully. My zucchini leaves are nice and green. Look at that. And look at this big zucchini. I'm picking that now. Wow, this one's huge. Another one. I'm going to pick this one too. My peppers are hanging in there. They're turning green finally. They were yellow all week. But they're looking better. Cooking my zucchini fritters on the griddle here. I'm going to flip them. Oh, nice and brown. They look good. This is from our first zucchini of the garden. Look at that. So that's what we're having today for lunch. 
I hope you enjoyed that little garden update. As you can see, everything's growing so great, and it looks like I'm going to have a lot of tomatoes coming, hopefully. Anyways, I forgot to show you one other purchase I made. The Pellin was all 50% off at Joann's. And I always use Shirtailer as my interfacing for my garments. Well, I found this interfacing, and this one was 50% off. It was $1.29 a yard, whereas the uh, Shirtailer is $4.29 a yard. So I figured I'd get this one for 50% off. That's like, what, $0.65 cent a yard? So I bought the whole bowl. I said, why not? $30. So I got plenty of it now. And it's... It's not exactly like Sure Taylor. It's a little thinner, but it'll work for less than half the price. So I wanted to show you that. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video of fabric patterns and my little adventure with the gecko at Joann's. And I hope that you have a great weekend. And I hope most of all that you were so inspired.